Hey guys, welcome to the next video on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this video and some of the next coming videos, I'm going to show you how functions works in shell scripting. So let's get started. So like any other programming language, bash also supports function, though they have somewhat limited implementations, right? Now, first of all, what is a function? A function is a subroutine, or you can say it's a code block that implements a set of operations. So for any user, it's like a, a black box, right? It has some name and it implements some functionality. And then later, user can use this function once or multiple times. So let's see an example and let's see how we can use functions in shell scripting. So there are two ways of using uh, functions. One is like this, and this is the first notation. And for this, you use a keyword function, and then you give a name to your function, and then you execute some commands, right? The second notation for the function is like this. So you directly give the name to your uh, function, and then you give these parentheses and then you use these curly brackets and here comes your commands right so like this or like this so you can use uh, functions like this in this notation or in this notation okay so we are going to see uh, both of the notations and we will see how we can use it so let's say we want to print uh, hello world using a function right so let's do it with uh, this one we can uh, just say hello here or you, you can uh, say anything using this uh, function right so uh, you can uh, give any name to a function and then we can uh, you know give some commands inside this function inside these curly brackets so i'm going to just give echo and I am going to say hello here, right? And in the next function, for example, I want uh, a function that whenever I uh, call it, it's going to quit the script, right? So let's say this function name is quit, okay? And what it does is it just calls this command, which is going to exit our shell script, right? So let's use this uh, function, first of all, this hello function to print something. So to uh, use a function in a script, you just call it, okay? So let's first uh, run this script. We have just declared these two functions, right? And whenever we run the script, what happens? Nothing happens because we haven't called any function by its name. So to call a function, this is just a declaration of a function, right? So to call a function, you just need to uh, give the name of this function. So for example, I'm calling the function hello, then I'm going to run the script and it's going to print hello, right? Now let's call this function, which is a quit function. And I'm calling this quit function before hello function, right? And then let's uh, say I'm just echoing something. So I'm echoing, for example, some word fool, foo. Okay. So let's run the script and let's see what happens. So I'm going to just run the script and nothing happens because what we have done here is we have called a quit function first of all and quit function just quits the script and the chance of uh, calling this or this doesn't come because this function is called first and it directly quits the script, right? Let's uh, see uh, the sequence like this. So first of all, we call hello and then we call uh, this quit function after the hello function. And let's run the script. And now hello is printed, but this uh, echo is not printed, echo foo right because the sequence is something like this so first hello function is called and this is printed and then we call this quit so the script is exited 
and the chance of uh, printing this doesn't come right then let's uh, use this quit after the echo command and then once we run the script it prints hello from this function and then it prints uh, foo from this command and then we call the quit function which exits the script okay so sequence of uh, calling the function is important right so however you call the function in whatever sequence it will be called in that sequence so first of all we are calling the hello here then hello will be called and if you call uh, you know quit at the top then quit will be called first and then the other function right so sequence is important and uh, the function declaration can be done in any sequence right declaration can be done in any sequence but what matters is the calling of the function so on in whatever sequence we will call the function they will be called in that sequence right now second thing is how we can pass any argument to a function so uh, there are some ways of passing some argument to a function and let's see how we can do it so for this function i have declared hello here right instead of uh, hello i can uh, just call for example print this is a print function right and then uh, how it takes an argument uh, the argument can be uh, used in the uh, with the dollar symbol and then the number okay so one uh, means the first argument then if we write two here then it means the second argument and then we write three here then uh, it's it means the third argument so for example dollar two is the second argument dollar three is the third argument and so on right so what we want now is what we want now is uh, we want to call this uh, print function right so we can just call this print function and how we can do uh, or give a, an argument you can just give uh, the name whatever name or whatever argument you want to give after the name of the function so whenever you call this function and give this argument it goes here as the argument one and hello will be printed so let's see what happens so you can see hello will be printed and then foo is printed and then we quit the application using this function now we can uh, call a function multiple times so we can say hello world here and then uh, you can see it prints hello and then world and then foo right so you can call it multiple times so hello world and then we can say again here right and then now we run the script and it says hello world again so you can call a function multiple times with multiple arguments right and you can call the function in sequence okay let's give some uh, other arguments here so you can give two dollar two and then you can give dollar uh, three here right and instead of uh, calling it multiple times you can just give uh, this world as a second argument and again as a third argument and then i'm going to just remove these callings and then run the script for example and it prints hello world again because we are capturing these argument using uh, these uh, uh, you know variables so variable one is for first argument variable two is for second argument and variable three is for the third argument right so this is the introduction to function so function have more functionality uh, than this simple operations and this we are going to see in the next videos so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now